you in depth now on tonight's top stories. And Todd, we start with that murder suicide that has hit a community hard. All new at 11 tonight, family, friends, and former students of the woman killed in an apparent murder suicide over the weekend are gathering to grieve. Shannon Hall was a longtime teacher at St. Louis de Montfort Catholic School in Fishers. Tonight, the parish held a prayer service to help with the healing. RTV6 reporter Katie Hines joins us live in Fishers with more on this emotional night. Katie. Close to 900 people packed shoulder to shoulder into the church tonight to pray for Shannon Hall. We're told the group included family, friends, former students, and parents. Members of the St. Louis de Montfort community tell us that they will not forget Shannon's passion for teaching, her love for Jesus, and her kindness. They say all of those will live on. Hall taught here for the last 12 years, most recently second grade. Family members and friends say she helped shape hundreds of young lives in her role. Former students are sharing their memories on social media. One saying tonight, couldn't remember a more unselfish teacher that I had. Blessed to have known her. Another writes, Mrs. Hall, you have helped me so much in the past and won't be forgotten. One former student says, forever loved Mrs. Hall. And finally, heaven gained an angel today. As a teacher, uh, it was very clear to me, you know, just the, you know, the, the students that were here, and their families, you know, from years past, uh, you know, that she made a difference in, in the kids' lives and, you know, certainly with the family, too. Father Kiefer estimates that Hall had close to 300 students in her class from over the last 12 years, students that she clearly made quite an impact on, and students here at this community are scheduled to go back to school in just two weeks. Reporting live in Fishers, Katie Hines, RTV6. Here's a very disturbing statistic now. Experts say one in every four women will be victims of domestic violence in her lifetime. Shannon Hall was the victim of the ultimate act of domestic violence when Carmel police say her estranged ex-husband shot and killed her. Her death has saddened people in the community and women's and children's advocates who work to prevent such tragedies. RTV6 reporter Ebony Monet is live with that story. Ebony. Erica, here in Indianapolis and in many surrounding cities, fire departments are safe havens for women and children 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They can go there to get protection and safety and shelter from domestic violence. And advocates say that this is just one of the resources that they want people out there to know about. Shannon Hall was a mother and school teacher, and Carmel police say Sunday night she was the victim of domestic violence when her estranged ex-husband shot and killed her and then killed himself. It is tragic that any time that a domestic situation has to come to this type of a conclusion, um, it's, it's, un, it's unneeded. About two months earlier, authorities say veteran Indianapolis Metro Police Officer Kimberly Carmack was killed by her estranged ex-husband after he broke into her home. Experts estimate 1.3 million women are victims of domestic violence every year. What had unfolded that day was so out of control. It wasn't the first time. It had escalated. To protect her identity, we'll call her Jane. She says the abuse at the hands of her ex-husband became life-threatening. I'm thinking he's going to pull a knife. And so um, there was a pool table, and, and there was only one way out of the basement. And as I'm trying to gauge, okay, if he comes down the stairs with a knife, where am I going to go? About two years ago, Jane became one of the 6,000-plus women in Indiana who seek emergency shelter every year. Her first stop was the Julian Center, where workers shelter 120 people a night. Half are children. And it takes all kinds of forms, and it happens to um, every member, every strata of a member of our community. It doesn't discriminate by age or income or gender or um, race. Um, we see it that it happens everywhere. Advocates say if you feel threatened, get help. And Jane says if not for the help of the Julian Center in the Colborne Place, she's not sure she'd be alive. You know, in my case, what he can do to me to hurt and harm me and, um, you know, the ultimate objective is that I don't live. For more information about the resources available to people looking to escape domestic violence, you can log on to the IndyChannel.com, and we've provided some links inside this story. Reporting live downtown, Ebony Monet, RTV6.